All right, so it's a cold, cold Saturday morning in Portland, Oregon. We typically don't get a lot of snow, but this winter, and especially late in the winter, we seem to be getting quite a bit of it. And I'm gonna highlight a vehicle today that you may think is odd because typically I do cool cars like the Mustang or any of the micro cars. But today, this is sort of a humdrum vehicle, but has its own special place in my heart. It is a 2000 Astro van, all wheel drive. And you're probably saying, well, well, it's a big deal about that. They're all over the place and uh, they're very common and kind of mundane. But as you can see, it's snowy. The dog is over there ready to go for a run. And I've got this Astro van out and I've actually been waiting for this day for some time. Uh, this is a van I acquired from my customer, one of my customers, and uh, let me get the snow scraper out. I want to show you some special things. Ooh, it's pretty nice. I'm scraping the window glass here because that glass was not there yesterday. In the 10 years that I've owned this vehicle, there was never a glass there and there was never anything here. This is plywood that's bolted to the body. There's quite a bit of body damage. I got this car from a customer. He hit a semi-trailer and basically sideswiped it, knocking the mirror off, breaking that window, creasing the whole side of the vehicle, breaking out that window, and breaking out this window. And sat around for my shop for a long time because I knew the engine was good, the tires were brand new, and the brakes were brand new and the front end was all rebuilt. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I thought I'd do a some type of a donor thing where I'd use the engine on one of the micro cars, but it took only 10 years to get a window in the thing and a mirror on it and some insurance on it. I have yet to register it in my name, but you can see <clears throat> I lifted the front end. It has a torsion bar front suspension. I jacked the torsion bars all the way up. It is all-wheel drive, and it's an amazing snow vehicle. This is the all-wheel drive version with the G80 rear axle, which is the pause attraction, and it works perfectly. The engine's in great shape. I did have to put an alternator on it and a battery, but the transfer case, the four-wheel drive system, everything works good, and I don't even know if I can get into it without breaking the door handle off. It's kind of a ratty car, but... It's uh, super fun and super capable in the snow, and it has enough cargo capacity where I could put a micro car in the back. Let's see if I can open this. Oh good, it is gonna open. It's frozen. That is not the most prettiest interior you've ever seen, but it is. Dang, I gotta find the keys. Oh, there they are right there. Let's see if it'll start up. It's cobwebby. The interior is pretty dated and worn and it's been sitting around the shop so I took the carpet out because it got moldy and the headliner's kind of fallen down but it's perfect for what I needed to do and that is to get me to work on this week of snow which we have predicted in front of us. Let's see if she'll start. Yep, there she goes. She's running. 158,000 miles. I think I paid 500 bucks for it. Not a bad deal. Like I said, I'm excited. I've got a few things to do. I'd like to get a stereo in it. And I got a tail light that got smashed out right there. I'd like to fix that. And uh, maybe, maybe I'll just make it legit and a good work vehicle. And like I said, I can tow people out of the ditch on my way to work and I might be able to fit a micro car back here. Wouldn't that be cool? These barn doors need some work, of course, but I think we should take this thing for a drive on a snowy day and just see how it does. It's got ABS brakes and all-wheel drive and it's very heavy so it should work pretty well. It's a Canadian built Astro van and uh, yeah, let's get it cleaned up and take it for a drive and just enjoy it for what it is. All right, so we're out driving our, our grubby old Astrovan, 
and uh, it's snowy as you can see the streets are a bit icy and slick and this thing just grabs and goes it's amazing watch this amazing it just feels like a cat on a screen door it's an amazing snow vehicle so Stella and I are gonna go do a, some work today across town kind of some extra credit stuff and we're gonna maybe go fill up and get this thing back on the road it hasn't been driven other than around the shop for about 10 years I changed the oil checked the transmission I did flush the transfer case it takes that special GM fluid just for a day like today and waiting years for this pretty crazy all right we'll uh, check you out soon okay so we're out driving the for the train the Astro van and in Oregon you're not allowed to pump your own gas so you got to stand back hand the guy your card while he fills your your vehicle so gas is now what is it 250 I think now Pretty cheap. 259 for regular and uh, 289 for super. We're gonna treat the van. This is the first fill up it's had in over 10 years. Now we're out driving around, the check engine light came on, so we're sorting out some stuff. There's leaves and twigs and things coming out of the wheels. It's been off the road for, like I said, 10 years and uh, it doesn't look very good. It actually looks better with the snow on it. So uh, this side is actually the better side. We're going to keep driving and see what else falls off. <laughs> All right. All right, so we kind of found an off-road here. We're going to check the Astro Van's articulation and off-road prowess. Oh, that's a good pothole. Hopefully the torsion bars don't snap because I cranked them up all the way for more ground clearance. Very capable. I'm surprised. Doesn't slip at all. We've got fresh gas in the tank. Hasn't had fresh gas in a while. It's probably loving this little ride. New thermostat. Now the temperature is coming up. Heater's working good. The last van on its inaugural resuscitation outing is doing all right. Maybe this thing would make a good gambler. Gambler 500 vehicle test its real prowess. Taking these potholes like a champ. I'll tell you what, that's pretty cool. I'm impressed. It's not a microcar by any means, but it does do what it's designed to do. All right, so it's the next day. We've been out joyriding the old the old Astro van and uh, it is amazing. ABS brakes, the four-wheel drive, the ability to haul my doggy, and not caring if I get a dent or a scratch is really nice. The snow's starting to melt and uh, this adventure may be over. Or if we get a whole nother load tonight, like they say, maybe we'll get more. But uh, that's surprising, you know, for a that's a sub $500 rig with a little work. It could be a lot of fun. All right, thanks for watching.